an understanding. God will give it away. You know, one of the problems we have with God is that we doubt so much. Today is your day of remembrance. Good morning, saints. God bless you. I welcome you to this Saturday's uh, program, Flourishing Hour, which takes place um, here at the Gallery TV every Monday's 9.30 and Saturday 9.30. So you're welcome in the name of Jesus. I bless the name of the Lord for life and for good health. It can only be Him. Without Him, we are nothing. Without Him, we cannot rise. But he has given us reason, privilege this morning to rise. So I, I know that God has a lot of blessings for you and me in the name of Jesus Christ. So you are welcome to a flourishing hour. By the grace of God, you will be touched. By the grace of God, um, something new is coming on your way. You are going to be lifted. Victory is coming on your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out your withdrawal. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Ah! Oh, what's my ID found? I see him. Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. In tune. Uh, my name is Apostle C.U. Shedra, the senior pastor of Land of Flourish Tabernacle. Um, I bless the name of the Lord for January program, which was uh, our month of playing a better foundation. It was awesome. There was a lot of testimonies. People come from far and near. And uh, a lot that came, they testified. There were so much testimonies on that program. Um, to the glory of God, it ended successful. 21 night vigil and 21 days fasting it was not easy but the lord made it to be easy and a lot of people that came they got home successful without any problem it is a lot doing and it's marvelous in our side the most beautiful aspect of it is that life was restored families and marriages and uh, businesses there was a lot of testimony may the name of the lord that have done it be glorified in the name of jesus even we receive so much testimony from media um, our social media and also YouTube and uh, both phone calls and people try so much. There was a lot of testimony. There was a lot of testimony. So may the name of the Lord be praised in the name of Jesus. I'm going to talk about um, another topic this month. I'm going to talk about another topic this month. Um, the Lord has released the topic, okay, for you and for me. To the glory of God, I, as you pay attention, you're going to be... Um, a beneficiary of this uh, um, topic. You're going to benefit much. So I pray you will stay tuned. I pray you will listen and also practice whatsoever God have led in my heart to tell you in the name of Jesus Christ. So our topic this morning um, says, don't give up to challenges. Don't give up. You will win. Hallelujah. Don't give up you will win. Don't give up. You will win. You know, one of the things that have caused a lot of people to fail is giving up. The song that I said, don't give up. It's not over. When you give up, then it's over. Hold on to the Lord. Okay, trouble not your heart. Even when you fail, don't give up. Is it? So it's not over yet. Praise God. Now, don't give up. You will win. So I've never seen anyone on top. I've never seen any victory without challenges, without opposition, without battle, okay? But the first thing is you having it in your heart. I love some um, um, persons in the Bible, like the woman with the issue of blood. The Lord said, she said to herself, 
before leaving her house. If I can only touch the hem of the garment of Jesus, I am going to be made whole. Now, she was convinced within herself. She said it to herself. So she came prepared in her, within her. She have, okay, she, she, she have this mindset of not going back the same. She, 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 let's say she, spiritually, she have, she have received what she was, okay, going there for. So that is one of the problem we have, you know, most of us, we go to some things with doubt. And anytime we go some things with doubt, I mean, already I'm coming back with nothing. Okay, so she said in her heart, I will, if I can touch. Now, she made up her mind first. She made up her mind before going. So, victory starts from one, making up your mind. And failure starts also from you not making up your mind. Okay, so victory starts from making up his or her mind. Over that thing you are going for or you're pursuing. Okay, that is where victory starts. Then secondly, you have to trust on God because by strength shall no man prevent. Okay, so now she said in her mind, if I can. And by the grace of God, she went there despite all the challenges she, she faced. The Bible said the crowd was so much, the disciples they couldn't now, but she 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 tried as much, okay, because she has said to her heart, I will win. So I don't know what you are saying to yourself this year, 2021. I don't know what you saw last year, and I don't know what you are seeing. I don't know what you are concluding. But I'm here this morning to tell you, you will win in the name of Jesus. You are not going to end the same in the name of Jesus Christ, okay? But I have not seen any victory without, okay, battle. So, but before you, so I will win. Okay, yeah, I will win. I will win. I want that mindset to be in you. I was say, say, let this mind be in you that was in Christ. So you got to have confidence that you will win, and definitely you will win in the name of Jesus Christ. There are some Bible portions this morning we are going to go through. We are going to go through. But before them, yeah, I've seen a lot of successful businessmen and businesswomen in different okay categories in different fields okay they faced challenges and finally they came out successful okay before you come out that means you must have okay win some so, some challenges you must have win some opposition before you become successful all right so make up your mind as you follow me in this um topic this morning uh, uh by the grace of god you are going to win in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to start from the book of um, Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13, we are reading from verse 26, and I read in Jesus' name. He said, And they went and came to Moses, and to Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kedesh, and brought back words unto them. And unto all the congregation, and shewed them the fruit of the land. 27. And they told him, and said, We came unto the land, whither thou sentest us, and surely it flowed with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. Moreover, we saw the children of the Anna there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and Canaanite dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Verse 30. And Caleb stood the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are able to overcome it. Both the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Okay, praise God. Now, now this is the case, the problem that we have. You know, if you watch this scripture, the Bible said that was a land that God promised their grandfather, their father Abraham. Okay, the land that flowed with milk and honey. It was also the land that God told Moses, is, okay, I'm going to take you people from the land of Egypt, okay, to the land that flowed with milk and honey. Now, God has given them this land, but there are giants 
that dwell there in Jebusites, Amalekites, and all the rest. They were there. So when they went out of about 11, 12 persons that went there from different generations, now they came back and said that they cannot be able. They saw it impossible. They saw it something that is not achievable. Though that God has given it to them, but they saw it as something that is not okay achievable. They said the sons of the Anaks are there, the giant. He said, to us, we are like grasshopper. We cannot be able. But find God for one man called Caleb. Out of all of them, Caleb said, no, we are able to possess the land. Look at such a mindset. Look at such, uh, 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 will I call it faith or belief? Look at such a mind, set of a man. He said, no. Yes, all of you, what you are saying is true. The giants are there and all the people are there. To us, we are like grasshopper to them. Yeah, but most of the time, victory is not measured by size. Greatness is not by size, it's of the mind. It's of the mind. Caleb said, no, we are able to go, but others said, no, we can't. Yes, the report they brought is quite true. The giant, they are so tall. The Jebusites and all of them, they are there. They surround the land. But this guy said, we can steal. You see, that is the mindset I want every one of us, okay, to have. To watch things. There is nothing that is not achievable as far as God is concerned. There is no height you cannot get to. There is no success you cannot get to. I was teaching and preaching to our congregation. What God wants us. The Bible says in the book of Philippians 4.19. He said, I will supply to you your needs according to my riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I was asking, I said, the riches and wealth of God. Okay, who knows it? How much it is? It's beyond human imagination. So no matter how rich people are asking to do with the wealth of the riches of God in every aspect. Now, the mind of God, God said, I'm going to make you a blessing. You know, many of us are praying, God bless me. No. The prayer is, God bless me and make me a blessing to nations. That is the mindset of God. God wants to make us blessings to nations, blessings to generations, blessings to uh, um, people. That is the will of God. But to us, we see as something impossible. No. God can make you that has nothing to do, before the end of the year, you start praying in school fees of 500 people, 100 people, 50 people. It all depends on your mindset. So you have to change your mindset. So I want to make you a blessing. So are you going out for an interview? What are you, you see, have the mind that you have gotten it. And you will see it coming to pass. Despite the oppositions, despite the challenges, they will give way when they see you coming with their mindset and with God. The Bible says, with God, all things are possible. There's no impossibility with God. He said, but with man, it is not possible. But with God, all things are possible. So which mindset are you approaching things? Are you approaching it with a mindset that you will not make it? And suddenly you will not make it. But if you are approaching that big things, I'm going to make it. Forget it, you are going to make it. You are going to make it. Everybody you see today that are successful started from one point or the other, they start going, they face opposition. They face opposition. They face challenges. But to the glory of God, they are where they are. Which by the grace of God is not their last height. So you keep moving, you keep trying. I'm God giving you a vision, okay, this is what you're going to do for him. Okay, you're going to be a governor. Okay, house, you're going to be a house, you're going to be a senator. I'm God giving you vision. Okay, you're going to occupy this position. You're going to be a chairman of this, okay, local government, and so forth and so forth. As far as God has given, so no matter what you ask, you may not have money. But the first thing is be convinced within you. Yes, we know what is happening out there. But if God has said it, forget it, it must certainly come to pass. If God has said it, 
It will certainly come to pass. Despite how they are doing it, no. What God says must come to pass. But you have to first of all, have you accept that you are going to be here? Have you said you are going to be victorious? Have you said, okay, I'm going to get there? There's no amount of blessings God cannot give that you cannot, I mean, achieve. It's achievable, friends. That thing you are saying that is difficult is, is achievable. There's no amount of money God cannot give. Satan does not give money more than God. It doesn't. So forget about maybe the, the four one nine or the Yahoo. Forget about uh, whatever whatever people are doing. Okay, God still gives sweet money. Forget about every other things. I don't believe that and all the people that are rich today that they put hands in one thing or the other. That means if we say that or conclude on that, that means God does not bless. So with that mindset, what are you saying? To yourself what do you believe Caleb said okay guys yes your report is true but with God on our side we are going to conquer and by the grace of God they conquered and they are dwelling in that land till today they are dwelling in that land till today so there's no impossibility. So I don't want you to see anything as a hindrance or as that these challenges is no, 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 no. It's too much for you not to conquer. It's a lie. Praise God. So I want to bring another example from the book of um, let us check the book of Ezra. Ezra chapter four. Ezra chapter 4, verses um, 9 to 10. Ezra 4, 9. Okay. Now, Ezra 4, 9. Okay. Ezra 4. Let's read from verse 1. We may not get to that. Now from verse 1, it says, Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity built a temple unto the Lord God of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us be with you, for we seek your God. Now let's go straight to verse um, 4. Verse 4 said, Then the people of the land weakened their hands, the hands of the people, Weaken the hands of the people of Judah and trouble them in building. Verse 5. You say, and hire counselors against them to frustrate their purpose. And all the to frustrate their purpose. All the days of Cyrus of the king. Now, their pro, 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 uh, program was to frustrate their hands. They came to weaken the people. They came to frustrate their plans. They came to stop them. Now, that was their own opposition. So in life, when you start something, there must be an opposition. There's an opposition before you climb to the next level. So the opposition should not stop you. The opposition should not stop you. Now, look at what the scripture says in the book of Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 4. If you read Zechariah chapter 4, it says something. He said, the hand of Zerubbabel have started this foundation and his hands must finish it. His hands must finish it. Now, whatsoever your hand have started, you will finish it in the Lord. But one thing is that don't give up. Your soul you have started and you want to achieve this year, by the help of God, you will achieve it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you have, any height you want to get to, 
by the grace of God, you will get to that height. Ecclesiastes 11, the Bible says, He that observe the wind will not sow. He that observe the weather will not sow. Now, the weather, if you are considering it, you may not sow. There is a proverb. It was talking about he that observe or consider the challenges will not be able to achieve anything. So if you first of all put, ah, I cannot make it, blah, blah, blah. No. Words are powerful. I'm saying to you that you will make it in the name of Jesus. Don't give up. You will win. You will definitely win. There's no two ways about it. Every battle, every challenges of life you are going through, I declare to you today, you are victorious over it. In the name of Jesus, you will win. You will win. So first of all, have it at the back of your mind that you are more than conqueror. Jesus has win, won. And he has handed over the victory over to you. So certainly you are going to win. Have you put a project down and presently you don't have anything to start the project? In the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, you will see that project. You will see it finishing. You will see God completing it. You want to do business and you have cost it? Yes, lift it up and begin your prayer to God. No matter how much you use to start it, you will see good. You will win. Is it a battle of poverty? You will win. You see a particular car and you want to get it by the grace of God, you will win. Don't allow challenges to limit you. The challenges are there to limit you. The challenges are there to stop you. The challenges are there to put you behind. The challenges are there to tell you that, ah, these things is not achievable. But I declare to you, it's achievable in the name of Jesus. It happened to Paul. The Bible said that Paul, the rich, the rate which he was going, the devil saw him, and it caused sickness, tongues in his flesh. That was opposition. That was challenges. That was not enough. He appointed a messenger before him to torment Paul. And Paul went back to God. God said, my grace is sufficient for thee. And by the grace of God, Paul was fulfilled in all the revelation, in all that he wants us to do. So I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, receive sufficient grace to win. Receive sufficient grace to win. Let grace of God come upon you for you to be victorious over that challenges, for you to come out testimony with testimony, for you to come out victoriously, for you to come out excellent in the name of Jesus Christ. So in anything you have laid your hand and there is challenges to today, receive sufficient grace to defeat that challenges. Is it health issue you will win? You will not die. It's not your portion. The Bible says we shall live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I command that sickness to give way. It's a hindrance to the level which God has destined you. In the name of Jesus Christ. So whatsoever that you have set your hands to do and you are spiritual position, your goal your vision in the name of Jesus Christ receives sufficient grace to be victorious in the name of Jesus. In life, 
How can David kill Goliath? It's not possible. But he has a conviction in him that Goliath, I'm going to gun you down. I'm going to put you down. For the name of the Lord to be glorified. So I pray for sufficient grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. In this month of February, I don't know your goals, but I declare to you, you will win. You will win that battle. You will not be defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. My name is Apostle C. U. Shedra, the senior pastor of Land of Flourish, Tabernacle. Now, there's one thing that is very important. If you have not received Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, He's the one that owns the strength. He's the one that owns the, the, the victory. He's the one that gives you all which you need to conquer. The wisdom, the understanding, the strength, and all. So if I'm not receiving, please can you pray with me? Close your eyes as you pray. Let's pray together as you receive him. As your Lord and personal Savior. Say, oh Lord Jesus, have mercy of me in every way I've wronged you, not accepting you as my Lord and personal Savior. Today I've made up my mind to accept you as my Lord and personal Savior, as my Redeemer. Accept me as I start a new life with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to you with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my body and my spirit. Forgive me of my wrongdoings. Forgive me of my past. And accept me as your son and as your daughter. Be my Lord and my personal Savior in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to the fold. Now I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. We ask for sufficient grace to be victorious. We ask for sufficient grace to get to the height you have destined us. We ask for sufficient grace to win. We ask for sufficient grace to overcome every opposition, every challenges of life, every challenges in our victory, in our pursuit and our goal. We ask for sufficient grace in the name of Jesus. You that are out there, this is sufficient grace to win, to be victorious in the name of Jesus. To get to that height, to achieve that thing you want to achieve this year. To the name of the Lord alone to be glorified. It is well with you. Go in that order. I declare you winners. I declare you victorious people. You are a victor in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the grace of God, on Monday you still see me on this same station, the Gallery TV, every 9.30 to 10. You are welcome. This is Flourishing Hour. My name is Apostle Shiyu Cedric, the Senior Pastor of Land of Flourish, which the church is located at number 81, Akuta Ajuaro, beside Access Bank. You are welcome. God bless you. See you same time on Monday. It is well with you. Amen. This wisdom and understanding, God will give it away. You know, one of the problems we have with God is that we doubt so much. Today is your day of remembrance. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out your withdrawal. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? I 
Do not share your card pin with anyone, keep your account information private, and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank.